What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Evan and today I'm going to be trying Mukene, otherwise known as silverfish, for the very first time. Guys, I lived in Uganda for a few years and I was around Mukene a lot, but I never tried it. Um, I don't really like the smell, I don't really like eating things with eyes on them, um, so I never bothered trying it. But Ash just had a little bag of Mukene brought from Uganda to Switzerland and uh, she left it in my apartment. Ash is busy right now, otherwise I would ask her to make it for me, but I'm going to be trying to make it myself with a recipe I found online. So we're gonna see how this goes, gonna see what my reaction's going to be. So stick around to the end of the video for that, but uh, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you have not already, and let's jump on it. All right guys, so here's my ingredients. I have tomato, green pepper, carrot, onion, garlic, and my little bag of mukene. So I'm first going to cook the mukene, then I'm gonna start with the onion, garlic, rest of the ingredients, try to mesh them together, and we'll see what happens. So first, I'm going to take the bag of mukene, dump it in this pan, and I was told online that I need to cook this dry until it's golden brown. So I'm just gonna cook it like that and I mean it already looks golden brown now how am I how am I supposed to tell I don't know what it's gonna look like guys but we're gonna figure it out the smell is already super strong so I had to turn on this fan so I'm almost thinking that this was already cooked at one point and so I think I'm just going to add the water because I don't want it to burn that's enough water so I'm going to turn this off for now and let it sit okay so first is garlic next is the onion now for the green pepper carrot and tomato Easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the oil. I saw the woman who made it online add a lot of oil, so there's a bunch of olive oil. I have the mukene over to the side. Guys, tell me how that looks. Did I totally ruin this mukene dish already or does that look normal? So first I'm going to add the onions and then the garlic. So let's add onions first. Next, the garlic, carrots, green peppers, Okay, now to add the special ingredient. Guys, the smell is so strong. All right guys, so it's finished. Take a look. Does this look disgusting? Did I totally ruin this? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. First, before I eat the soup, I should just try a mukene by itself. So let's see what this tastes like. for the first time. It 
It's okay. It tastes like how it smells. It's a little salty. Let me try the soup. The soup is much better. I think I could eat this, but if it's the mokene by itself, I don't like it. But with the soup, it actually tastes nice. Not my favorite, but I could eat this. I think there were some stones left in that piece of fish. I think when I was emptying the mukene, I wasn't supposed to empty all of it because there are like little pebbles and soil at the bottom. But yeah, guys, it was worth trying. I should have tried it earlier in Uganda. Nothing to fear. What Ugandan food or any food from whatever culture you come from, what food should I try next? Because I want to expand my palate, expand my just um, experiences with food. So tell me something I should eat and I'll see if I can find it, see if both Ash and I can eat it together. And um, yeah, we want to experience different cultures. I think that would be cool if you guys share with us something from your culture that we should try. Um, so how about this? The top rated comment um, with the most thumbs up for something we should try. We're gonna try that next and uh, we'll see if we can make it right and see what we think of it. I'm gonna give this to Ash to try later when she's free. Um, and then maybe we'll post that video on Instagram. So check out our Instagram to see Ash's reaction to my Mukene dish. Um, but guys, thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for sticking with us through this busy time we've been in um, with exams and whatnot. We still, I still have one more exam. Actually, both of us have one more exam. Um, in a couple days. So pray for us for that. And uh, make sure to like this video, share it with a friend, and we'll see you guys next time.